Ye, in southern Sudan, was once a prosperous city located on the main road that carried all traffic and commerce through the region with the neighboring countries of Uganda and the Democratic Republic of Congo. The life before the civil war life was somewhat easy. Ye was beautiful that time. That is why people call it a uh, small land. In 1955, the first of two long civil wars started between Sudan's Muslim North and the predominantly Christian South and it didn't officially end until January 2005. Over the course of the two wars, which lasted 50 years, over 2 million people died and 4 million refugees fled the area, decimating the town and destroying nearly all infrastructure and roads. When the SPLA came in, then it made life somewhat difficult. It was the first time that we tried to, to run into the bush because of the bombs that uh, the SPLA dropped into yeah, those days. It seems when the SPLA started ambushes and movement was business got disrupted. So there was no activity. It was just destroyed the town. In June 2005, the U.S. Agency for International Development signed a cooperative agreement with NRECA International Limited to build an electric distribution system that would provide reliable and affordable electricity to Ye and included street lighting to help bring public safety to the village. The NRECA International Foundation partnered with U.S. member co-ops to provide volunteers to help with the construction and training of the local crew. So USAID asked us to come here and to this town of Ye. We've got to show that peace can bring economic dividends, but also it'll improve your life, it'll better the next generation. We've got to show what electricity brings to the people. Start with street lights, then start, you know, connecting people. Then we got that first light on. That first light was the beginning. They can now see the possibility of having power in their tuchel. They can now see the possibility of that wood shop down the road having some electricity and being able to employ more people. They can see the economic possibilities of electricity. I'm so proud of doing all this what I'm doing right now because actually that's what it means to be reconstructing the southern Sudan or the Sudan as a whole after the war. I'm proud of it because I'm a Sudanese American who have come from America coming back to southern Sudan to build the southern Sudan. Part of the challenge was interesting. It was like it was actually getting back and we were able to build an electric system from the ground up. We had everything to do. We had to do the generation, the transmission create the infrastructure for the utility. We also then had to create a way to manage it. We had to select a board of directors, educate them. It is a big challenge, but also it's really gratifying. Great. They're so, so thankful, so genuinely thankful that we're, we're actually moving forward and helping them uh, and assisting them. We're using them to do this job. We're not just coming in here turnkey and bringing a whole bunch of, of American linemen in here to do the job. We have them here, and they're the ones that are doing the work, and they're the ones that are going to be able to do the work in the future. It's very expensive to get involved in this industry now, as we know, and many communities around the world simply do not have the resources to get started, and they don't know how to get started. And I think the expertise that our co-ops have and the willingness of our linemen uh, that are willing to go overseas and share their knowledge with others is just, it's an enhancement not only for the co-op, in the good feeling it gives, but probably one of the greatest benefits I've seen to co-ops is the linemen that have returned from volunteering to go overseas on the international programs have all gone back better linemen and better for the community. Probably within two days most of any of our apprehensions were taken care of just by association with the guys and then the, the actual people when we were building the line, you know. The people took away a lot of the apprehension and took your focus to, you know, making something for them instead of worrying about yourself. Where we built the single phase line through, there was no light period after, you know, the sun goes down, it's done. And, and I think everybody separated and went to their houses or whatever and, and didn't come out until morning. Now there's people congregating underneath lights that they never had before. And it's really nice to know that, that you've, uh, you've kind of made a difference and helped out in, in so many people's lives. I would tell any lineman that it's 
tough, but it's probably the most rewarding thing they'll do in their career. If you're willing to put in the time, um, it's, a, it's a great experience. I think it's a, you know, it's a life-changing experience to be part of something and give, and give somebody power that's never, ever had it before and can't realize what it can do for your life. It's an overwhelming feeling of joy. I mean, I, it really is. And just to be able to share a little bit of knowledge and, and build something in a new part of the world, just knowing what the people don't have makes you appreciate things so much more. Well, the reason I wanted to volunteer is because there's people over here that need our help. And, and when I told my daughter Katie about this, she said she could not believe that some place in this world doesn't have electricity because we've never been without it. And I thought if we could help these people out, that would be an awesome thing. And it has been an awesome experience. The satisfaction is like being able to walk around in the evening and see people walking around with the street lights on. These people are taking the benefits of the power we give. Medicine is now preserved in the drugstores carpentry shops producing a much better quality uh, product. All due to the fact that we brought electricity here. The experience in Ye was interesting in that I saw a very struggling uh, community. In meeting with the people who are serving on the Board of Advisors, I saw that they had a real desire to succeed. They want the community to grow. They want the community to prosper. But they also know the difficulties that they're facing in the future. And as we transition out to making it a, from an NRACA international program to a locally owned and operated program, they know they have some real challenges ahead of them. The electrification project here in EA is being in recent times one of the most important projects we've done. For me, it's been a joy uh, to see how uh, our staff, along with the support of the membership, the volunteers, you know, the money, the equipment, seeing the sort of, you know, the, the difference we're making in the lives of people. This is so beautiful. Ye is going to change a lot. It is a good opportunity for us women to have the electricity in our homes so that it can help us in many things which we need. After some time when Enreka came around, they put around electricity poles and wow. Put a smile on my face because I need it was going to cut down on my fuel expenses. So actually, the power has changed our lives. You can move say, securely on the roads because you have lights. In May of 2008, government officials from Southern Sudan and the U.S. joined the residents of Ye and NRECA to celebrate the completion of the first community-built and operated generation and distribution system in Southern Sudan. The president of the government of Southern Sudan, Mr. Solvakir, presided over the ceremony and joined the crowds in dancing and rejoicing for the hope of a better future. Since then, the utility has continued to grow. There are 17,500 people that are directly benefiting from the reliable supply of electricity to Ye. Electricity has improved the quality of health care, education, and other basic services while reducing violent crime and providing an opportunity for small businesses to grow and expand. Together, NRECA International Programs, with the help and support of the U.S. cooperatives and their volunteers, are helping electrify the world, one village at a time.